Good morning, church family. So good to be able to share with you guys again today and uh, open up the Bible and, and just uh, discuss a, a story that is going to be so familiar for many of us today, but uh, is something that uh, when I go back and whenever I study this story, I see so much of a, a connection, a parallel to where many of us are at uh, just in our normal lives. And uh, I see so much of us in this prophet Jonah. So uh, we're going to look at the Old Testament story of Jonah uh, today, just kind of a, a brief flyover. And I want to look at a few verses and how Jonah responds to God at the end of the book. And uh, if you're unfamiliar with the story, uh, Jonah is a prophet of God and God tells him to go and to take a message of repentance to this great city, this evil city of Nineveh. And Nineveh is a place that is just, it's a wicked area. And uh, Jonah wasn't a big fan of this idea of God uh, offering uh, repentance, an opportunity to repent uh, to the people of Nineveh. He wanted God to just wipe them out because they were evil. Uh, so Jonah, instead of going and doing what God tells him to do, he, through most of the book, he, he does everything that he can to run away from God and to run away from what God has told him to do. And as he finally, took towards the end of the book, uh, finally obeys and, and does what God tells him to do, and he goes to Nineveh, and the people of Nineveh begin to repent, I want to share for you guys a few verses from the end of the book. Uh, we're going to read verse 10 from chapter 3, and then the first few verses of chapter 4 together. So read with me, uh, starting in verse 10 of chapter 3. It says, When God saw their deeds that they had repented, uh, that they had turned from their wicked way, then God relented concerning the calamity which he had declared he would bring upon them. And he did not do it, but it greatly displeased Jonah, and he became angry. He prayed to the Lord and said, Please, Lord, was this not what I said while I was still in my own country? Therefore, in order to forestall this, I fled to Tarshish, for I knew that you are a gracious God, a compassionate God, slow to anger and abundant in loving kindness and one who relents concerning calamity. Therefore now, O Lord, please take my life from me, for death is better to me than life. And the Lord responded to him. He, he said this in verse 4. He says, The Lord said, Do you have good reason to be angry? It's an interesting little passage to me. It, it's one that always kind of catches my attention because uh, it's, it's strange. It, we read these verses, and, and what we see here in this passage is, uh, God was gracious and forgiving and kind to Jonah when Jonah disobeyed at the start of this book. But by the time we get to the end of the book, Jonah is actually mad at God and, and says, it'd be better, God, if you would just kill me, it would be better than uh, this situation that you've put me in. Because I knew, God, I knew that you're loving and I knew that you are kind and I, I knew that you're forgiving and I knew that you were going to forgive all these evil people in the city of Nineveh. And Jonah's just, he, he's frustrated. He thinks that he knows all the answers. He thinks that he knows what would be best for the people of Nineveh. That God should wipe them out. That God should destroy them and punish them because they were evil. And, and Jonah's response here shows us that he really doesn't understand the, the, the scope of who God is. He doesn't really understand how big and how powerful and how gracious our God is because if he really truly understood it in this moment he would be rejoicing he would be celebrating that that God has been kind to him in the beginning of this and his disobedience and and that God has been gracious and kind to the the people of Nineveh as well and as I think about these verses I think uh, it's important for us to to pause and to consider these this morning because I find that so often I feel like I, I know what's best for my life, just like Jonah did. I feel like I know what's best for the situation that I'm in or, or, or people that are around me. I feel like I know what's better than what God uh, often wants to do in my life. But just as we see how foolish that is here with Jonah, I'd encourage you, I'd remind you, I'd caution you. Uh, the, the tale of Jonah is a cautionary tale for us. That, that we need to be careful not to assume that we know better than God does. We can always trust God in, in whatever situation he calls us to, 
whatever uh, circumstances we find ourselves in, God is always good. And even if uh, God is gracious to someone that we don't think he should be gracious to, even if God uh, puts us in a, a tough spot and, and does things in a way differently than what we would do, we can always trust God. We can always know that God's way is best because he is a merciful God. As, as Jonah said in his own words, he, he was saying it in a grumbling way, but this is a, an encouragement for us. He says that God is a gracious and compassionate God, slow to anger, abundant in loving kindness, and one who relents concerning calamity. May we celebrate and reflect on that today, that we have a God who is always loving, is always doing what's best for us. And even when we don't necessarily understand or agree, we can trust him and know that his way is best. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you again soon. Bye.